Hey guys, this is Zach reporting from part three of our coaster challenge, Seawood Orlando. It is very cold out, um, but we're gonna ride some roller coasters. Um, it's time for Manta, Kraken, Mako, of course Mako, and then Jerry Tell Atlantis, Infinity Falls, maybe Antarctica. That is gonna be such a miserable ride because I am freezing. <laughs> maybe Wild Arctic, even though that ride is trash. But yeah, we're entering the ride now, so see you guys once we get inside the park. Wow, look at this Christmas tree right here. Yeah, buddy. It's the Christmas season. Wow, I love the lighting here around this area. Look at that lighting right there. It's so cool. I was afraid I was gonna lift this up. Mako over there, Mesa right here. Whoa! That's beautiful. Never seen that before. That is cool. We are ready to go on the most intense roller coaster in Orlando, in my opinion at least. Manta. A very strong flying coaster. My personal favorite flying coaster that I have ridden. Let's hope the line's not too long. Last time I was here was when the ride was stuck on the lift hill for like a long time. I remember that. That was pretty crazy. Uh, but now my body is kind of adjusted to this weather, so the rest of the night shouldn't be too bad. I hope so. Yeah, buddy. Look at the track. I know it's hard to see the track, but it's there. Let's hope there's they're running more than one train. Let's hope so. Stand right here. Get on Menta. Hi, get on to Menta. Yeah. Uh, not running one train. They're running two trains. We just did Manta. That has to be hands down one of the best rides I've had on Manta. Oh my goodness. Like, that was insane and incredible. Like, I think this is a great ride overall, but if I had to rate this ride out of 10, I'd give it a 10. Like, that was awesome. Like, that is a 10 out of 10 ride on Manta. Like, it was back row, nighttime, very forceful, very smooth. That Pareto almost made me black out. Thumbs up for Manta. Next up, we are gonna ride Journey to Atlantis. The Mac rides water coaster. Very excited to ride this one. It is a little cold, so this is gonna be a bit crazy riding Journey to Atlantis. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing, I just, I have a really bad cough right now, but there's people riding it. But this is a great ride. And then and the coaster drop during night is really awesome, so I'm excited to experience that again at night. I was like no one on it, but I know the ride's open. I was at new soundtrack too. That's right, Drew Tell Anto does not have stick bags. Answering Drew Tell Lance. You have a reason about getting this line. It is so dead at Drake Town Lewis. This is gonna be a great ride. So now we are stuck on Drake Town Lewis. It's crazy. Water, ride, water, 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 water,
Yeah. Like that theming. May I have your attention, please? We are experiencing a minor technical difficulty. A minor please technical difficulty. I feel like Spider-Man. Ride number, that was 20. Ride number 20 has just been accomplished. That was awesome. Um, even except for the fact that we were stuck partially, it was still a fun ride. Um, the, the coaster drop was pitch black. It was a lot of fun. And um, that was just a great ride overall. Our next ride is going to be Kraken Unleashed Virtual Reality Experience. Not Virtual Reality Experience. Look at all these fishies. Look at all these right here. This is awesome. Yeah. That is crazy. What's up, JTA? All right, guys. Look at Kraken real quick. Two of the like, lights are not working. Wow. It's Akin, not Kraken. No more VR. Time for being up Florida's coaster called Crack. Oh, there's a coaster right there. Take, check this out. Bye bye. Where was that light added? Oh, what the heck? That, that's flickering. That's crazy. <laughs> Let's hope that's not rough this time. This thread starting to get a bit rough. I still take it over Vanta, but like I said last time, I still take it over Vanta, but like. It's right being a bit rough. <laughs> Sorry for talking. Are they running one train? Please tell me they're not running one train if they are. And oh, so stupid. Why are they running two trains? I don't know. Leg prosthetics must be worn, and rider may be required to wear a separate harness. Riders must be in the right to run. Four in the and the Thank you. 
Okay, if you see me do that for a long time, you know I got an incredible ride. Ride number 21, a Kraken. That was insane. So smooth. Like this, okay. Like it wasn't like perfectly smooth, but like smoother than usual. And it was so intense. Like, and it felt faster. If I had to rate that out of 10 for today, easily a 10 out of 10. That was incredible. Like, I'm so surprised. I had a better ride than this than Manta. Of all the rides so far today, this one's been my favorite from what I've done today. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm just, that blew me away. It really did. So to all the Kraken haters out there, I'm sorry. I love Kraken. It is one of my favorite rides out there currently. No more Kraken eggs. The Kraken was just mind blowing. That was so good. That was so good. Okay, now we're on to Antarctica. This is gonna freeze my butt off. I'm pretty sure. More than Infinity Falls and Drake's Atlantis it's because it's supposed to be like 30 degrees inside that building. Happy holidays. Yeah, I've had so much fun going here. Yeah, that was, that was such a great That is a music game. Only five minutes. Next up, the Antarctica. Great. 
not even working. It is probably an evac or something like that. Oh, it's so cold in here. But that was an interesting ride on, on Antarctica Empire of the Penguin. You know what? Since we completed the whole ride, technically, I'm just going to rate out 10. I'll give that probably a 7. A nice movement. <laughs> I like how it sucked us in. But it's so cold in here. Oh my goodness. It's so cold. Colder than Infinity Falls. So we're kind of hustling now to Wild Arctic. The ride closes in about half an hour. So we want to do that. Then Infinity Falls, we're going to end off this part with Mako. Are you guys, are you guys jogging? What the heck? Uh, time for a beating now on Wild Arctic. Look at these Christmas decorations. That is awesome. Wild Arctic is this way. <laughs> Look at all these trees. A tree is so gargantuan. Oh my gosh. Red and green. Oh yeah, they have the whole, the holiday stuff open up there. Look at that view right there. The coasters. Are we literally in the middle of a performance? Of the sea trees or whatever you want to call them? I think we are. That's awesome. We made it to the most painful ride in the entire park. Wild Arctic. This thing sucks. But we're gonna ride it anyways. Hopefully there's no wait. Yeah, it's time for a little bit of a beating. I'm ready for a beating now. So outdated. Some Inuits still make clothes from animal skins, travel by dog sled, or especially to some sea one today. The walrus okay, has to tough more wrinkled Dorothy. skin, That's two right. long tusks, you know, got time and to don't forget those two long. flat flippers in front and two floppy flippers in back, which make four fantastically functional flippers. Welcome, brave explorer. I'm the Hold operations the coordinator here at the Franklin Exploration Center, a staging and support facility for Base Station Wild Arctic. I can see we have a hearty group of adventurers today, although some of you seem to be lacking in the proper equipment. Shorts and t-shirts are not Arctic gear. <laughs> Education is our mission, and that's why Thomas Purcell founded the center in 1937 as part of his dream of creating a permanent Arctic research station. He theorized that man could survive in this harsh climate to observe. I should tell you that on the likely event of water landing, the person seated next to you can be used as a flotation device. <laughs> and to ensure your safety, I need all of you to follow a few simple instructions. When given the clearance to board, walk quickly across the cabin to the last available seat. Remember to keep your head low when approaching white thunder, or you'll be sporting a flat top. That ride should be non-existent at this theme park. Oh, that was horrific. That was so painful. Not as bad as the last ride, but really painful. Put my hand in here quick. Ooh, yeah. But the exhibit is super cool, though. I love the exhibit. Right now, it's Christmas-themed, believe it or not. Actually, <laughs> I actually met Santa here with literally no line, which is pretty funny. But I, I really like how they redid that. That's really cool. And then Christmas tree right here. But yeah, that ride was just so bad. Out of a 10, I give that like, like maybe probably like a three because it wasn't the worst ride I've found it, but it, wasn't the, it was definitely not a good ride at all. But we're gonna walk through this exhibit here. Whoa, let's see you. I want to sleep here one day. Dirty socks in the laundry room. Yes, the center with the Coca Cola. Yes.
what's going on there. That's pretty funny. Flats this way. Stop running ahead. like I'm at the airport again. So we just got to Infinity Falls and apparently the ride's closed. That night lighting though looks really cool. Wow. Yeah, that's some really good lighting, but I don't know. Infinity Falls at 8. I didn't know that. It is kind of interesting. Man. Man, the water's not even on. Like, yes, it's on, but it's like not like in its fullest potential. They even have like the restaurant bathrooms open in that building. That's crazy, because I want to do this right at night. I really do. Next time we come here, I'll make sure to do this at night. Wow, I love the lighting, though. But you know what that means? Let's do Mako. We're almost there, so I mean, we'll do Mako then, I guess. But yeah, that's, that definitely sucks that the video falls is down. Well, it's not down, but it's closed for the rest of the day. Due to hours, apparently. But Mako's not. That's crazy. Let's get around Mako. b and Hyper Coaster. Do it, baby. <laughs> Best beat up hyper out there. It's probably a walk on. And it is open. And after a wild Arctic, which was horrendous, I mean, I don't know. So, after the failure of Infinity Falls, it's a bit of a bummer. I hear the coaster. Around. Oh wow! So excited for Mako. Mako is literally such a good coaster, especially at night. This thing hauls butt. So I'm looking forward for Mako. Thought that was a good ride, dude. Here, I actually met Cosa Studios literally at this ride. It was super cool. I am speechless after that ride. ride no, that was ride number 24, Mako. That was insane. I was literally like standing up. Like, the air time is insane. 10 out of 10. Like, if, like, I already said it, I rate this easily a 10. Like, that is one of my favorite coasters of all time. Thumbs up for Mako. I think we might do it again, like, that was crazy. We might actually end up doing the Sky Tower, 
Like, that's such a good ride. Like, wow. Oh man, that, I had a lot of room in my straight and it went flying. It was insane. Such a good roller coaster. Easily my favorite b and Hyper. Favorite ride of the whole day by far. Between this and Kraken, like, they're neck and neck. I love all these trees. Oh, that was a shark counter too. Time to ride probably the slowest floating of all time, Sky Tower, but it's a fun ride. Getting to be up there is really cool. Sandbar right here. As you take your ride up to a height of 300 feet, we thought it would be helpful to share some SeaWorld tips that might make your day even more enjoyable. For your own safety, please stay in your seats for the entire run. And no smoking, please. I think I have SeaWorld invites you and yours to take a ride to the top of the world to meet the Arctic's most famous resident, Santa Claus. That's right. Guests of all ages can share wishes and dreams with Santa Claus as they explore SeaWorld's wild Arctic. Experience amazing animal encounters and a heartwarming visit with Santa himself in a holiday adventure you can only have at SeaWorld. If you're planning to visit Santa in Wild Arctic, Avoid the crowd by visiting either before or during the Shamu show. Check show times on your park map to plan ahead. No one's up in the front. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, nobody's up in the front. We could go do that right quick since we didn't get the ride. <laughs> <laughs> Climb aboard your raft for a journey of discovery down this moss jungle. Don't tease us now. We're going to see water falls to pass the remains of the civilization. Hang on as the roaring world-class rapids send you flying through chutes before you plunge down the tallest drop in the sky into churning Where's the Mormon tavern? Your adventure ends at Harmony Sky Tower is ride number 25. That provides some amazing views of the entire park and lots of Orlando in general. I think it's a great ride. That ride I'm going to give... Um, I'm going to give it about a 7 because it's not very thrilling, but the views are so good. Big snow. <laughs> Sorry if it's really blurry, but when I get one more ride in, I'll make it real quick. <sighs> Park literally closes in two minutes, but when I get one more ride in, I'll make up for it closes. <sighs> I'm very fast, so I could probably make it on time. Yes. Gotta be last ride in the night. I'm 
might be the last ride of the night on Mako. I wanna do that. Wait till nine o'clock. Be the last ride of the night. For <sighs> me at least. So, as a Mako shark, we have to locate our sense, or use our senses to locate the injured fish. What else do we have to do real quick? And, listen up, we gotta, we swim differently, so I mean, you know, Mako sharks swim differently. Time for the last ride of the night on Mako. Don't do that on a B&M Piper. Piper. I can't believe I was just on Mako's last ride of the night. That was incredible. 10 out of 10, easy. Oh man, now we gotta go to Fun Spot, ride White Lightning and Freedom Flyer real quick. That park closes at midnight. It's like nine o'clock right now, so we got plenty of time. But that's just so cool. We were on the last train of the whole night. We, got, we were the last ones on. That was incredible. Man, I am so proud of myself. I like what why, Cyril why they, did with their uh, light bulbs. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna end the SeaWorld video here. Um, so if you guys are done watching the videos for today, um, then I'll see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're if you're staying for the other videos, there will be links in the description for the next videos, which will be a fun spot. So that'll do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more videos and more vlogs in the future. Also, don't forget to check out the social media link, which will be in the description below. I'll see you guys next time. Have a theme-tacular day.